Joining me for more on this now is Hassan Bazian, who's a professor of Middle East cultures and languages at the University of California, Berkeley. Welcome to the program. Um, we are just hearing right now that five rockets have been fired from Gaza at Israel. That's uh, being reported by uh, the uh, Israeli army. Just very quickly, your reaction to this. It's uh, also being reported that this could open up a, another, a new front of fighting uh, for Israel in Gaza. Well, thank you for having me. It seems that uh, Hamas and the Gaza uh, Palestinian forces are attempting to take pressure off uh, on Jenin and the refugees uh, by possibly opening a, a front on Gaza and thus uh, drawing the Israeli attention away from uh, the intense campaign that they have been unleashing on the population in Jenin. So I'm not surprised, and we'll have to wait and see uh, what the uh, circumstances in the next 48 hours will bring about. Indeed, and uh, it, this is just uh, absolutely breaking news right now from uh, the last 10 minutes. Um, Hatem, of course, Israeli uh, authorities have been saying that they are, are leaving Jenin, the refugee camp. Uh, what then did this uh, two-day so-called uh, Jenin operation achieve, would you say? Well, I will... Still not hold the Israelis that they will stand by their word that they're withdrawing. Actually, in their initial statement, they said they are withdrawing, and an hour later, they launched airstrikes mm -hmm. on the population. So it seems that they were trying to get some of the resistance fighters to come out and then launch an attack. Uh, the context of what is taking place in Jenin and all of the, over the West Bank, this is a calculated strategic violence. Mm -hmm. uh, the campaign has begun really in from April. There was a massive assault on Jenin. There was another assault on uh, Nablus. Then you have the unleashing of the uh, settlers all over the West Bank in Hawara, in Tormus Aya, in uh, Jerusalem, and other places. Uh, so this is a deliberate, systematic mm -hmm. process. A chaos or violence and brought, bringing about a strategic chaos and strategic violence in order to expand mm -hmm. the footprints of settlers and settlements. And, and it just, was not surprising. Yeah, just to announce, um, interrupt, yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, Hassan. Yesterday when you, when you spoke, you, you mentioned the, the, the word topography, that uh, part of the plan was a, a strategic plan to change the topography of the conflict. What has uh, then these two days achieved? Has has that managed to to work to that goal of changing the topography of uh, the Palestinians uh, and their area there? Well, uh, saying that the Israelis wanted to change the topography does not that mean that the Palestinians are accepting and willingly responding uh, positively. I have to say that the Palestinian as a population is undefeatable, whether inside Palestine or outside. And what is happening is Israel does not understand that logic. They still think that they could shoot themselves out of the circumstances that the Zionism and Israel have put itself in there. We have 7 million Palestinians inside historic Palestine, the West Bank, Gaza Strip, and in 1948 area. And there is no uh, out, uh, outward uh, from this context of how to deal with 7 million population. And Netanyahu, on June 26, he said, we need to eliminate their aspirations for a state, meaning the Palestinians. Uh, I would say that's a wishful thinking. That's been the constant uh, demand by certain segments of the Israeli political landscape. And I don't think this is an an achievable goal, even at the weakest mm -hmm. point of Palestinian body politic, the division that exists, this is unachievable. So all what we get is this cycle mm -hmm. that the Israelis in, uh, intend to undertake, which is violence against the Palestinians for domestic consumptions, for political mm -hmm. domestic consumptions inside Israel. Hatem Bazian, fantastic to speak to you once again. Thank you so much for your analysis and time. Thank you for having me.